All right, guys, I'm going to teach you a little bit um, about Photoshop here. And you're working on your projects. Uh, um, you are working on the project for uh, Multiply Me. And um, I want you to take your files. So once you've taken some pictures and you've got them on your computer, um, you're simply going to drag those onto your Photoshop icon down here. And it'll open up for you in a tab. Uh, you can open multiple ones and they should be in all their own tabs. So if you got that one and then this one will open here in just a sec. You'll see that uh, Cameron here did quite a few different ones. We're going to turn off a few of these layers that he already did. And uh, you'll see his base layer here. And then um, here's one of the other photographs he took. So we're going to use this lasso tool. Click on there, get the lasso tool. Now you want to just start click and hold down and you can just draw a fairly large um, selection here and you get the dancing dots. You want to remember that if you want to add something in you'll add you'll push down on the shift key and you can add a little bit more in. Make sure you get the shadows in. Uh, don't don't forget to add shadows in. And you're going to take that selection now and you're going to do command C. And that's a copy. And then you can come over to your main one, which is this is the background one that you're working on. And you do a command V and you can paste uh, your second one in there. Now use this move tool, move him over into location, try to kind of guess where he's supposed to go here. See if we can get him in. That looks pretty good. Um, you go to your layers and you can turn it on and off with the eyeball and see if it looks like he is in spot. Yeah, it looks pretty darn good. If you wanted to move him at all, you could um, use your arrow keys and you can just nudge him around until you feel like he is exactly where he's supposed to be. I think he was pretty good right where he was. So that looks pretty good. Maybe one little nudge down. Perfect. Uh, from here, we want to create these masks on here. So you'll see this button down here. If you click on that add layer mask, um, it's going to pop up there with all white mask on it. And we're going to add some black into that. So we're going to come in with our brush tool. And let's make my uh, Photoshop here a little bit bigger. So my menu is not down there. So you can see down here in this corner, there's the white and the black. You want to have black in that main frame. And then when you paint on here on that layer mask, it removes any of that section that you want to remove on there. So you're going to blend that in, get it nice, nice and blended in. And you can click on and off and see, looks, looks pretty darn good. Um, if you took too much out, you would switch that around and you would add it back in with some white. Um, if you do something you don't want to do, it's Command Z to undo. And you're back to uh, one, back up one step on that. Now you'll just repeat this process over and over, adding in all of your, your people. And um, that's the project in a nutshell. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, ask questions as you need to, okay?